Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tino from Tino's Automotive down in Olympia. Just wanted to give everybody an update on Raylan's car. If you guys remember, Raylan's CRX got stolen from him while he was at work some time ago. <clears throat> he came out and he saw his car driving off. Not good. You know, we were browsing the forums and we saw what happened. They had found his car. It had gotten his way to impound and he was on his way to drop the title off to get scrapped. So we were able to get the car out of impound, get it down to our shop, and uh, when we got it, it was pretty rough. So, we got everything going back in it. It runs, it drives, it's going to the alignment shop in the morning. Everything's SI converted. We got the engine bay already sprayed, new color, fresh paint, everything piece by piece got put back together. If you guys didn't see the pictures of the car, they literally dropped it off a trailer while it was rolling. The subframe was tacoed underneath the car. The core support in the front of the frame rails were bent. It was literally cut off with a sawzall. Uh, the front end was pretty rough. The interior gutted, everything ripped out, cut, broken, windshields broken, uh, stuff kicked in, fenders, you know, just everything bad. So, we got everything done. It's running and driving. Let's go to the alignment shop in the morning. The plan is to give it to Raylan here tomorrow or the next day as soon as we get it back from them. Uh, the main holdup for the last couple months has been body shops. We've already purchased all the materials that we need to spray the car and do the body work. The issue is that the car's been to two body shops that were on board to help us get this thing painted for Raylan and they bailed. So we've been between a rock and a hard place for about the last five months. Uh, we understood we were patient with the body shops because they're doing it as a charity and they're not really, you know, they're not making money. But if anybody on the forum or anybody that sees this video has access to a body shop with a paint booth and can do this properly, we have some time to help prep. The problem is we don't have a lot of time because we as well are a small full-time business. So we have a lot of stuff going on and it's been hard to fit in even to get this done. So weld the new front end on, get the car running and driving, get everything situated, convert it over to SI. It's got some new wheels on it, some mismatched panels, but it needs to get painted. We already bought everything for it, and that was the plan for Raylan. Some other goodies have gone into the car, too. Super stoked, and CompuStar even sent us a brand new alarm for the car. The top of the line, page, uh, everything. We just need to get it installed. So mainly we're looking for a body shop. We're going to let Raylan pick up his car now that it runs and drives so we can get it to him. And then uh, we're going to set up a date. We can get the car back for about maybe a week or half a week. That way we can get this body work taken care of. I need somebody to contact me that can do body work and paint. I'm not looking for somebody that has done it once or twice. We're looking for somebody who does full-time body work for a living or runs a body shop that can help us with this. As I said, I already have the materials. So uh, keep an eye on us. Thanks for watching all the videos. It was really fun to do this project. It was a lot of work, some stress, daily life everybody else you know everybody's got to work and make money and time and it's hard to fit everything in and especially when money's coming out of your pocket but we're glad to say that the car runs and drives Raylan will be getting it back soon the windshield just got put in this morning so everything's still pretty tacky uh but we're pretty excited so hopefully everything goes well thanks for watching the videos if you can paint please contact me you can either message me on facebook or even call me 360-628-8852 is my shopping number here Thanks for watching all the video, guys. Look forward.